Hi friends, in this video we're going to talk about how to set up Apache server as a reverse proxy. So first of all, if you don't know how to set up an Apache server in Windows or how to set up Apache server for file hosting, virtual hosts, HTTPS, I've already created videos on that and I will leave the link of those videos in the description. But in this video, we're going to talk about how to set up Apache server as a reverse proxy. So what is a reverse proxy anyways? So reverse proxy is like this good man in the middle or a mediator between your application server and the client. And what is the use of having a reverse proxy? Well, there are many uses. Some of them are like SSL termination. That means you can install SSL in your reverse proxy and actually you can run your site in HTTP. So the request till the reverse proxy will be over SSL and the communication between reverse proxy and your application will be over HTTP only. That means you don't need to have the headache of setting up HTTPS in your application server. And the next thing is request routing. You know, there may be scenario that you have multiple public facing applications and you want to address common concerns like SSL, rate limiting, request routing, etc. So for that, you can have a single reverse proxy and based upon the request port or the request URL segments, you can route the requests between multiple applications. So the security hardening you do in your reverse proxy will benefit all the applications behind the reverse proxy and you can see there will be reduction in duplication of work. So this is also one of the very good benefit of request routing through reverse proxy and obviously security features like if you want to control what are the cipher suits for HTTPS implementation, what are the SSL protocols or if you want to set up some kind of rate limiting, all of this can be done at a single place in your reverse proxy and you don't need to depend upon your application for setting those features. So it's like a separation of concerns, right? The security and performance concerns can be addressed by the reverse proxy and the application will actually focus on the main thing which is developing the features and the server. So because of all of these reasons, reverse proxy feature of Apache is one of the most used and the most powerful feature. All right, that was the introduction of Apache as a reverse proxy. Now let's get back to how to implement this Apache reverse proxy. All right, before starting, I've already created a blog post on this topic and I will leave the link of this blog post in the description. So you can copy paste and implement this whole thing in the video for yourself. So check out the blog post in the description. All right, let's get started. So before configuring the Apache as a reverse proxy, you need to enable some modules. So these are the modules, mod proxy, mod proxy HTTP, mod SSL, mod headers, mod SoCache SHMB in the httpd.config file. So where is this httpd.config file? You know, I'm using Windows for implementing the Apache server. I've installed Apache using Apache Launch. In my previous videos, I've already shown how to set up Apache server in Windows. So refer those videos if you want to know how to install in Windows. But for now, I've already got my Apache server installed and running. So this is the Apache folder present in C Apache 24. And here I've got a folder called conf. And inside this folder, I've got this httpd.conf file. So let's just open this file in VS Code. All right, this is the file c apache 24 conf httpd.conf and I've also used an extension called apache conf in vs code so that's why I'm getting this nice syntax highlighting. All right, this is my httpd.conf and you can modify this configuration file to add the reverse proxy capabilities. So we were talking about enabling these modules, right? So just search for that here. So I'm going to search for mod proxy and I've got this mod proxy line here, load module line. So just uncomment this. So if there is something like a hashtag here, just uncomment this. And now you can enable this mod proxy.so module. And then I got another module called mod proxy HTTP. So I'm gonna write mod proxy HTTP. So I've enabled this module also. And then mod SSL, this module is also enabled. And then mod headers, this module is also enabled. And mod so cache SHMB. So this module is also enabled. So all the modules required for enabling the reverse proxy in Apache are enabled now. All right, let's get to the next step. The next step is actually setting up a virtual host to demonstrate the reverse proxy functionality. So I can create the virtual host in this httpd.config file, but obviously already it has a lot of lines. So let's try to create another file and link it in the httpd.conf so that our virtual host will be more readable. So at the end of the httpd.conf file, I have just created a line called include conf slash extra slash test reverse proxy dot conf. So I have created a file called test reverse proxy dot conf in the conf extra folder and I am linking that to the httpd dot conf file. So the configuration which I write in that file will be included in the main configuration file 
that way I can separate the configuration in multiple files. All right, let's try to open this file. So in my Apache 24 folder, I've got a conf folder and in that I've got an extra folder and I've created a file called test reverse proxy dot conf. Let's try to open this with VS code. All right, this is the configuration file. So we are creating a virtual host which acts as a reverse proxy. So if you don't know what virtual host is, I already made a video on that and I will leave the link of that video in the description. So check out that if you don't know what is a virtual host in Apache server. All right, before actually going on with the configuration, let's try to understand what the setup we are going to do here. So this is the setup we are going to implement. So our Apache server will act as a reverse proxy and you need an application behind the reverse proxy, right? So let's try to create a dummy application and this application will be served by Apache through reverse proxy feature, okay? So now I've created a Python Flask server which just returns hello from Flask. So this is a simple Python Flask server. I just made the server to run on the local host port 5000. So let's try to run this server now and the server is running. So let's try to open the URL localhost 5000 and here you can see hello from Flask. So the server is running but you can see there is no HTTPS in this and the port is 5000. So if you want to add HTTPS to this server, imagine actually you need to learn how to set up HTTPS in a Flask server and take care of all the security concerns etc. Instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my Flask server behind the reverse proxy and tell my clients to access the application through the reverse proxy. So we have set up the application, our application is running at localhost 1500 and now let's try to set up Apache reverse proxy for this application. Alright, since we have got our context set, let's try to open the test reverse proxy dot conf file now. Alright, as I said, I want to run this application on HTTPS. So first tell Apache that it needs to listen on port 443. By default, only it listens on port 80. So you need to say explicitly that listen on port 443 because I need to run HTTPS on this port. And I am telling the cipher suits for HTTPS and I am telling the SSL protocols allowed for HTTPS through these lines and then I am telling the configuration for SSL passphrase dialog, session cache and session cache timeout. So these are all the usual SSL stuff and now we have created a virtual host which listens at port 443. Now let's try to understand the configuration of this virtual host. So the usual server name, you are telling the server name is localhost port 443 because it runs on SSL and then you are giving the email address of the server administrator and through these two lines error log and transfer log, I am conveying the Apache server to store the logs of this virtual host separately in files called logs slash error.log and logs slash access.log. So for this virtual host, exclusively log files will be created. And then this is the SSL configuration. So I'm telling SSL engine is on and this is the SSL certificate file, SSL certificate key file. And if you're using a real SSL certificate, then you need to do the SSL certificate chain file also. So if you don't know how to configure SSL in Apache server, I already made a video on that. You can check out the link of that video in the description. But for now, we have configured SSL in Apache server. So we have configured the usual virtual host features the SSL and now let's go to the reverse proxy features here. So the first thing is proxy requests off. Proxy requests off means our server will not work as a forward proxy. That means the request will be allowed from outside to inside but someone from inside can't use this reverse proxy to go outside. So this is a security feature and it's recommended to use proxy requests off in a reverse proxy scenario. So simply put this line makes the server to function as only a reverse proxy and not a forward proxy. And this is one more important configuration which is proxy preserve host on. So this directive preserves the host name from the client instead of the reverse proxy. So what do we mean by that? So here when the client says abcd.com it preaches this reverse proxy but the reverse proxy will call something like localhost port 1500 or something like that. So when this actually does the request to this application server, the host name is localhost but when the request is initiated from the client, the host name is abcd.com. So if you use proxy preserve host on, the host name in the header will be passed same as the client and not the reverse proxy. So this feature is also important and then proxy add headers on. So if you use proxy add headers on, some of the standard reverse proxy headers like x forwarded host, x forwarded for, x forwarded server headers and all of these reverse proxy headers will be appended automatically by Apache to the server. So when the request reaches the server from the reverse proxy, by seeing these headers, 
the server can interpret that the request is from a reverse proxy and the next is SSL proxy engine on so it's basically used to enable SSL in reverse proxy and then SSL proxy check PRCN on so using this directive the reverse proxy will check if the host name in the request matches with your certificate name so this is really important so you need to enable this SSL proxy check peer certificate name on and then SSL proxy check peer expired on so using this directive the reverse proxy will check if the certificate is expired or not so this is also important if you enable SSL in your reverse proxy so in short these are the SSL directives for reverse proxy all right we have covered some of the important security configurations for the reverse proxy and then the SSL configuration for the reverse proxy but still we did not configure that our reverse proxy should direct the request to our Python server and that's happening here we are telling request header set x forwarded port to HTTPS and x forwarded port is 443 that means the server will get to know that the initiated protocol was HTTPS even though the request was HTTP from the reverse proxy and then the original port which the client has requested was 443 even though the reverse proxy is asking for a port for 5000 so using these headers the server will get to know what was the original protocol and port initiated by the client and then we are telling proxy pass slash test to this localhost 5000 so that means we are enabling the reverse proxy function using this proxy pass directive and telling that all the urls at this segment called slash test will be redirected to this server running at localhost port 5000 so basically this single line enables the reverse proxy functionality all right then what is this proxy pass reverse directive we already have proxy pass right so proxy pass reverse is a really cool directive because it actually rewrites the headers which are originating from our server to the client so what do we mean by that suppose my server is running at localhost port 1500 suppose if you set a header from your application server as a response to go to localhost port 1500 slash page 2 when this request is sent directly to the client it will be redirected to localhost port 1500 which doesn't even exist so if you use the proxy pass reverse apache will rewrite the headers to match the reverse proxy configuration that means the header will be rewritten to something like abcd.com slash page 2 instead of localhost 1500 slash page 2 so proxy pass reverse adds the rewriting functionalities to the existing reverse proxy and this is really important so that's it basically using these two lines you have set up a reverse proxy and these rest of the configuration in these lines is actually for security and best practices the main configuration is only in these two lines so this is how you can set up a reverse proxy from a virtual host so that's it guys this is how easily you can set up a reverse proxy in apache using very few lines all right let's revisit what we did now we have set up a python application running at localhost 1500 and we have set up an apache reverse proxy that serves this application over https to the clients so what we did was something called ssl termination so we did the configuration let's try to run this setup so let's try to test first our configuration syntax is okay let's open a command prompt in the apache folder so let's try to run the command bin http d dot exe minus t to check if the syntax is okay and we are getting the syntax is okay so we did a lot of configuration and we have even checked if the syntax is okay or not and now we can proceed to restart our server to make the configuration live so i'm going to open the services.msc so i opened the windows services and i've located the apache 2.4 windows service and i'm going to right click and restart this service all right the apache server is running with our configuration now let's try to run our server and this server runs on localhost port 1500 so let's try to reload our server our server is running on localhost port 1500 right now let's try to open the server from apache so first let's try to open the apache server using https localhost so this is the default apache page but our reverse proxy is running at the segment slash test right so i'm gonna go to localhost slash test and then you got hello from flask so you are running your python application over https using apache as a reverse proxy so that's it we have successfully set up a reverse proxy using apache let us say you have another server running on localhost port 5101 then you can give a segment called test1 and serve that using this apache server 
So you can easily create a scenario something like this where you have multiple application servers running on different ports and you can use your Apache server to map each application to each URL segment. So that way you can centrally address the issues of security, performance, rate limiting, etc. So that's it guys. This is how you can use the Apache server as a reverse proxy. You can see I've created a blog post on how to configure the Apache server as a reverse proxy. I've also given you the notes and all the configuration so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own Apache server. I've also given you the links to the official documentation so that you can do further reading and understand the Apache directives. Please watch our previous videos on the Apache server if you don't know how to install or set up Apache server. Please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.